This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather Holder, it's Jeff Gardner, and welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy. And the birthday boy for today is September the 2nd. He was a famous basketball coach for the Toronto Raptors, but he also was a player for the Minnesota Timberwolves for 10 seasons. He was a good coach for the Raptors, getting coach of the year because he helped the Raptors get their first division title in 2007. But unfortunately, he got let go of the next season and things look bad. However, he has been an analyst for TSN, NBA TV, and Sirius XM Radio, and he's 60 years old today. He is Sam Mitchell. Sam Mitchell played college basketball at Mercer, a small school, compared to the big time of like Tennessee or Bama. All the got two thousand points. He was good for Mercer and helped them get to the NCAA tournament in nineteen eighty five. It would be the last time until twenty fourteen Mercer got into the tournament. And then Mitchell enlisted in the army. I went to Fort Bragg, North Carolina. But after Houston drafted him 54th from the 1985 NBA draft, he left. And would, well, he was cut by the Rockets and then would go to the Continental Basketball Association. Um, but in the, in the second season, he decided to quit to head to Georgia to be a special ed teacher. He would try out for the U.S. Basketball League and joined Tampa's team. However, he rejoined Houston for training camp and was cut again and went back to the CBA. Then he went to France for a couple of years and thanks to his overseas success, teams like Minnesota took a shining to him and Minnesota signed him. I mean, Minnesota was in their second year in the NBA, so they decided, let's take a chance on this guy. So he spent three years with Minnesota before being traded to Indiana and was part of the Indiana team that went to the conference finals in 95. However, he returned to Minnesota and would be a mentor to Kevin Garnett, who was drafted by the Timberwolves. Mitchell spent the rest of his career from 95 to 2002 with the Timberwolves, helping them grow. Mitchell would then become an assistant coach after his retirement with Milwaukee for two seasons. And then he was the top assistant coach for Charlotte when they came into the NBA before the Raptors made him the sixth head coach in history after Kevin O'Neill was canned. Sam Mitchell would soon lead the Raptors to respectability, especially the 2007 division title. And it looked pretty good and all that. Mitchell had some problems and all that with the team. At one time, say he had players with score lines of zero, 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 meaning they didn't play one iota in a game. So anyway, Mitchell was huge helping the Raptors out. Unfortunately though, the Raptors did get the boot by the Nets in the first round. However, the Raptors signed him to a four-year deal. And by November 2007, he was the player, the coach with the most wins in Raptor history, beating Lenny Wilkins for that honor. And unfortunately, in the 08-09 season, after an 8-9 start, he was fired and Jay Triano took over, making him the first Canadian to coach in the NBA. Lots of people ridiculed this move because the Raptors were only one game below 500 and the Raptors would go 15 games below 500 after Sam's firing. The Nets would hire him as assistant coach and lasted for a year and a bit and then he was made an assistant coach by the T-Wolves in 2014 and then after Flip Saunders was Forced to leave because of Hodgkin's lymphoma, Mitchell became the head coach. Unfortunately, Saunders died before the 2015 season started, so Mitchell was the official head coach. Getting into 29 wins, which was pathetic, the fifth worst in the NBA. Mitchell was then canned, and Tom Thibodeau came in to play. Mitchell 
would only last one year in Memphis as an assistant coach for the University of Memphis before being let go. So anyway, in his regular season with Minnesota in Indiana, and back to Minnesota, he almost played a thousand games. He missed up by six. He would put up 8.7 rebound, points per game, excuse me, and 3.7 rebounds per game. In the playoffs, he would only put up 59 games. But had a couple of deep runs with Indiana in 94 and 95. Minnesota would unfortunately do nothing with him, so he felt that. As a head coach, he was 185 and 242 for a 43% winning percentage. The pair of 41 seasons with the Raptors was good, but unfortunately after going 8-9 and nine, he got canned. In the playoffs he was 3-8 and eight. lifetime. Mitchell lives with his wife and had four daughters with from previous marriage. So Sam Mitchell was pretty good. He was brash and he wasn't afraid to show his true colors as a Raptors coach. So that worked out well for the Raptors, don't you think? Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond, I do.